all right welcome back guys so in the previous lecture we saw how we could create pages in ionic in this lecture we are going to start looking at the ionic component okay so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to close up these pages and then i'll open up my home page there are six files here what i want the file i want you to go to now is the home.page.html click on this file and it will open up in um, our Visual Studio Code. All right, maybe what I'll do is I'll just reduce this a little bit so I can have some space, okay? And then I'll click on this Explorer here to close this up, okay? So that I can have space here, okay? So it's better now. Let's come to our Ionic app. So this is our Ionic app. Um, I think there should be a way I can reduce this just a little bit. Okay, so I think this is better. At least I can see all of my app. Now, I want you to look at this home.page.html. Everything you see on this page is actually what is displayed here. The file that ends with HTML, okay? That's what I want you to lay emphasis on home.page.html. All right. Now, if you notice here, we you see we have this text blank. That's what is actually displayed here. Okay. And then ready to create an app. Let's come down here. You see, ready to create an app. Start with start with Ionic and then this link UI components. That's what we have here. Now I want to teach you something. Um, that if you probably have coded before it's not new to you but if you don't have any experience then it may be new how to comment out a block of code when you comment out a block of code that code will not be displayed on the browser so this is the like this container here holds all of this code so if you look at this this is div and it ends here div okay so i'm just going to click here and give some space right and i'm going to highlight everything you see here okay and then i'll press Control or command if you're on a mac and forward slash you see what happened here it added these um symbols to the beginning and the end of the code okay so just go ahead and press Control save Control s to save and give the app a few seconds it will reload and as you can see that part doesn't show anymore so basically this is what this code actually does it, i've commented out this part of the code okay now let's take a, a more in-depth look at the code so you see here we have ion header and the ion header ends here right and if you scroll down you see here we have sorry let me just show you ion content right and the ion content ends here okay so basically this ion header here is known as the opening tag while the ion header this one with a forward slash is known as the closing tag Ion content here, opening tag, ion content with the forward slash is known as the closing tag. Okay, so basically, there are two parts in the application the header, which is what we see here, and the content. Okay, it's as simple as that. Now, now that we've been able to identify the two parts of the application, which is the header and the content, in the next lecture, we're going to start using the ionic components to design our app and we're going to be using our ionic app toolkit all right so thank you so much and see you in the next lecture